Okay guys, good morning to you. Well, it's a late morning because I woke up late and I had my breakfast about tw half to 12 o'clock. So now I'm going back to my work, but I'll give you a little bit of an update. You can see my little doll is sitting there. And little Heidi sitting on the table already and enjoying her biscuit while her mommy is rooting. Yeah. She's been such a good girl. And then Milo and Coco. Is that nice your biscuit Heidi? And she's got no one there. I must watch that. Milo is not stealing it. And Milo is laying the on the little carpet. And mommy gave them a beautiful neck band with a little flower on. Let me show you. Where's your little flower? This way. Okay. There's this little flower. He looks so nice. See, boys can also look nice. And my little Coco is laying in the sun. He played with a bully. I first entertained him for like half an hour throwing the ball. Now he's so tired. And he's also got his little neck band on with his flower that his mommy made. Yeah, he's got a good doo doo, so I'll show him. He's so tired. And the weather looks beautiful. This morning it was a little bit cold. Not cold, but like fresh, fresh, fresh. And uh, yeah. I worked yesterday a whole day on my routing. I'll give you a little bit of a update before I'm gonna root for the whole day. I still got another two days maybe work, but let me show you how far I am with my routing. I'll put a light on because then I can see better even during the day. So I made my swirl here, this way, and then the other one goes down. And then show you on the side. I first started rooting with blonde here. Let me close that light for the moment. It's better when you close the light. So like I said, uh, um, in the beginning I was rooting it only with the blonde here. But then it made them so like white looking and he's already got a fair little face. And I thought, no, that's going to be too white. He's going to look like a little old man. So what I decided to do is, um, this is the mohi. It's much easier to root than, than natural he. And um, so what I did is I choose two colors which is let me go d i don't have to go back in the box you can see that there is a blonde and there is a little bit more so bring it closer no. there is the blonde one and there is the brown one and if you mix it it looks so nice i think so instead of looking so so what i did is i uh, cut a little piece there and then have a little bit of that one and then I mix it uh, wait let me show you uh, it's difficult to do it with one hand I lay it on top of this one and then make sure that the hairs are mixed like this then also what I forgot to tell you guys is it's so nice if you just like take a little bit of sticky tape and put don't make it too tight but put the sticky tape here around the hair little bit a little piece of a sticky tape so whenever like you pull back the the hair it's difficult to do it with one hand but you can understand me eh? so you take this and then i haven't got sticky tape at the moment and I did it with these little stickers you take off. It's also handy to have. So this is a little sticker and I stick it around it so it can keep nice. 
And then the other thing is I was without needles and I did my research to find some stock for needles. I uh, just googled by Mac, uh, not Mac Pearson because overseas it's so expensive with the imports, but I googled a little, um, a little magic, no, create a little magic and um, they're selling about three needles and it's shocking expensive. So I normally buy my needles by Casey Brace and it was very interesting. Also a little bit expensive, but not, I mean, they sell it by 10. I don't mind paying for 10, a little bit more, but what I did is I just, I was so desperate for needles and I was like saying to myself, oh no, now I've got to wait before they send it. Now I've got to order from overseas. And guess what? And I, I said to myself, oh Lord, you know, I, I, I must have had, I'm just gonna see if sometimes one or the other is not in the box by accident. And I opened a little drawer, this little drawer in my studio. And guess what I found? And I, I didn't even, can't even remember I bought these. Then they must have been like two years in my drawer. This is a 42 single bar, and there's 10 of them. Can you believe it? This is a 42, 10 of them, 42 gauge crown needles, which I love. And then this is 42 single bar. I love those needles. And then this one are the 40. Uh, I had still like about five left, I think, there, because I normally, I think I got about five left there. And um, yeah, 40 goes, so, uh, sorry, this is a star. I think I've never used those before. I always use a 42 gauge single bar. But when I use these, for me, they look, they look like they're a little bit more stronger. I don't know. I'm going a longer, routing longer time because up to, up to now, I've only broken two needles. So, from my new lot, you know? And otherwise, I sometimes break, uh, break like six needles for a whole hit. It depends, you have to make sure that you hold the, the needle properly. Because while you push, maybe you can push a wrong way and then they curve. And this is what happened to the last needle I tried to save because I thought if I don't find anything in my cupboards, I'm gonna carry on rooting with the one that was crooked. You must have noticed this on my other um, video that I was rooting with this needle. And it's still going, it's still going. But I keep this, this is for like when I'm stuck and I haven't got any more needles, I will use these. And this is why I thought, um, did I show you the 40? Oh yeah, the 40 star. So I'm sitting there with 10, 20, 30, 40. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 needles, I thought it was 50. Uh, 40 needles and I can still carry on and and root a lot of dolls with that, uh, guys. I'm so happy. I kept on saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I found you made me go and see the drawers, you know. It was so lovely. And I was singing the whole afternoon and I was rooting yesterday the whole afternoon. So you can see I've done quite a lot. So uh, I've to got a full in this here. And then turn them around. This is nice done. I mean, it's got a nice set and it's mixed. You can see it's mixed. I like it like that. You'll see it when it's finished. Maybe I must switch off this light here. Yeah, switch off the light and then during the daytime it looks like this. And then you must also see it when it's cut because I have to cut it. So I'm quite pleased with it and I'll come back to you to show you the other the other side when I'm finished and in the meantime y'all I'll 
listen to my music and I make sure that it's brushed all the time and I put it down. It's so beautiful but it's so thin. This here is the most beautiful, one of the best, best mohairs you can find. And you go ahead and watch uh, Casey. Um, my website is, oh guys, I can't remember her website, but you'll find it when you Google Casey Brace and then you'll see her website. Um, maybe it's on the, no, it's not. That's where I also bought my Mohi. She's got, she only works with the best Mohi for the little newborns. Uh, I thought maybe I could see it on one of those. I think it called um, something's like our oh, art or oh, oh, oh. something sweet art. Um, this is from this is from somebody else, I think. Yeah, this is from, this is German, in Germany. I bought those from Germany. But I think, oh dear, it is. This is from Casey Brace, art. Our art, I think. Yeah, this is from Casey. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to stop this video because this was just a short video to put you up that and i'm gonna enjoy this routine and then cut his hair nice wash him put some i'm so excited wash him and put some um, give him a new body and you're gonna see how nice he's gonna look like a real little boy not a baba anymore not a baby anymore it was rooted beautifully in that time i liked it but i like a little bit more hair because newborn babies are born some of them are with lots of hair and this one had such a short 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 hair maybe like i don't know maybe a centimeter long or what it was very short okay having my coffee in the meantime and I wish you a nice afternoon, a nice Saturday afternoon, and all the best, and thank God for everything. Um, make the best of every new day, and be good to one another. Bye, thanks for watching.